Very good morning to our lecturer, Madam Eislin, and fellow friends. So, my name is Vinasan Kartikesan, and my matrix number is 10 ddt 21 f 1114 So, today we are going to present our project 1, which is food ordering app, and our title is Food Corner. So, here I'm going to talk about our problem statement. A few problems with conventional methods of ordering meals were addressed by the creation of the food ordering system. Some of these issues consist of, firstly, inefficiency. Conventional mail ordering procedures such as phone or in-person orders can be time-consuming and inefficient, resulting in lengthy clients waits and added strain on staff. Secondly, restricted accessibility. This affects customers' ability to make orders since they might not always be able to contact the restaurant during business hours or have access to a physical location. Thirdly is order problems. Order issues may occur using traditional techniques because of poor communication or misunderstandings which leaves customers unsatisfied and necessitates the need for workers to make corrections. And fourthly, lack of customization. Conventional ordering procedures frequently prevent consumers from tailoring their orders to their tastes, which can result in unhappiness and possible waste. And the last one is payment problems. Also, conventional methods may not provide easy payment choices, such as online or mobile payment, which might cause delays or other difficulties. Our food ordering system aims to address these issues by providing a more efficient, accessible and customizing ordering process for customers while also streamlining operations for businesses. By leveraging technology, the food ordering system can reduce errors, increase efficiency and provide a better overall customer experience. Talk about our objective. Firstly, increasing customer conveniences. A meal ordering system prim primary goal is to make it simpler for customers to place orders and receive their food quickly and eff effectively. This can include functions like mobile apps, internet, internet ordering and delivery services. Secondly, raising revenue. A mail ordering system can assist businesses in increase their revenue by expediting the ordering processing and providing extra service like delivery or catering. And thirdly, increasing operational effectiveness. A food ordering system can assist companies in better managing their inventories, cutting waste and streamlining kitchen operations. And the last one is improving customer experience with features like configurable menus, order monitoring and tailor recommendation. A well-designed food ordering system can assist businesses in improving the customer's experience. Overall, the main objective of food ordering system is to improve the ordering process for both customers and businesses while also increasing revenue and enhancing the overall customer experience. So that's all from me. The next part will be continued by our teammates. Thank you. A very glad morning to our respectful lecturer and my fellow friends. I am Kovilan Raj Manirajan here and my matrix number is 10 ddt 21 f 1111 Today, I am here to explain about our project storyboard. Our project storyboard, uh, our name of our project is uh, and our, or our application name is Food Corner. So let us start with the login page here. If you see here, this is the logo page, logo uh, pan, logo label and this is the username label password label and also we added a login button here and we also given a also we given a link to sign up uh, because if you press the sign up it automatically will go to the register page so let us see the register page here so the second page as i uh, as i said this is the register page uh, we also added a login email button and uh, this mobile full name, uh, full name label, the new username label, new password, uh, new password label, all are so confidential. Uh, and we also added a sign up button here. So let uh, let us see the main page of our interface. So this is the main page of our interface. So uh, these foods, drinks, desserts, my card, and uh, about us, uh, about us. This also called as a buttons. 
if you press the food it will it automatically go to the food page that uh, will carries a lot of menus of food uh, we added a panel for the selection of what are the menus here same method to the drinks may uh, drinks page if you press the drinks automatically gives the menus coffees tea milkshake and uh, etc same uh, same method goes to the desserts if you press the ice cream uh, the ice cream it will go to the my cart so these all ice cream uh, these all menus are buttons referred to as a buttons if you press the button uh, of the menus automatically will go to the my cart page uh, also called as a, a database lah. it will carry uh, it will add to the cart uh, as I told if we select the nasi lemak uh, menu in food uh, food list uh, it automatically come to the my cart and added the price the users uh, aim is uh, selecting the quantity quantity only uh. so and we, uh, we also uh, added a print button to select uh, I mean to appear what we select for for double check the menus what we select and the last page is about the about page it's about refers to our address contact us and the members all are here so this is this is from me thank you for your attention thank you thanks to Colin Rush for the clear explanation uh, first of all, a very good morning to our lecturer, Madam Aislin, and also to my beloved friends. I'm Yogan Das Aidas here, and my metric number is 10 ddt 21 f 1112 So today, for our presentation, I'm going to explain our our application, which is food ordering system. So without passing the time, let me introduce our application first. So, to follow, this is our our main page, which is calling member login, as you guys see here. So this is our login page for our application. So here on the member login page, users can type their username and their password to log in to the system if they have an account already. If they didn't have an account, so here we can use the user can sign up for the for the app. So if the user didn't have any account, they can use the sign up button here. They once they click the sign up button, then the new registration form will appear on their screen. So on the registration form, the users can input their personal details to register the register to the app. So now I'm going to show you simple uh, example on how to register on this app. So here the users have to input their phone number, name, and also a Gmail account. So here, for example, I'm going to show. Uh, I'm showing you how to uh, register the application for the new users. So here, I'm input my. I type my name, phone number, and also email. So next, we have to uh, we have to set a new password for the application for our our account. So I put my new, uh, new password, and also I'm entering my password here. So once the users done update their details on the register form. The next, the users have to register. Uh, click the register button to save their uh, to save their details. So once they click the register button, and then the new pop up, uh, your new message box will appear on your screen, which is say your registration done successfully. So once they are click OK button, then they will can enter into the main page. Okay. So this is the method which is the user already. I uh, didn't have the account. Say if the user already have the account. They don't need to sign up here. They directly log into the app. So here I'm trying to log in. I put my username and also my password here. So once I click the login button here, the pop-up message will say you are logged successfully. So once the users click the OK button, then they can enter to the interface, our main interface. So here you can see welcome to the food corner. Uh, this is our what our sister name which is called food corner. So over here on the left hand side, left hand side they can see the buttons. We set the buttons here, which is have uh, the food, drink, dessert, my card, about us. Once they click the food button, then they will they will they will see the food menu on their left hand side. Uh, sorry, right hand side. They can see the nasi lemma, fried noodles, roti canai, fried penne chicken, curry noodles, and also nasi biryani that we offering to the customers. If they want they want drinks, they can click the drinks button here, and the left hand side they can see the drinks menu here, which is rose milk, syrup juice, watermelon, and and so on. So if the users want to see the deserts, 
they can click the desert button and they can see the desert menu on their left hand side after that this is my card button which is the users can see their food details that we choose that the users choose so once they choose the nasi lama or fried noodles if they click the pictures here then the food name will appear on this on this diagram if they choose the nasi lama so under the food table they can see the food name under the unit they can they can see the unit how many food they choose and over here they can see the price of the food so once they are done choosing their foods their meals then they can calculate the price once they click the calculate button over here they can see the price total price on the label which is beside the calculate button so once they done all if their users want to print their receipt they can use the print button to receive their print so here we didn't use any coding yet so for just now we couldn't see the calculate and the print button so this is for this is we do interface only so next is about about us so this is about our food corner application over, over here they can uh, the users can see about our food corner application we we write something about our food application and if they want to any inquiry they want to know any details about us they can contact us from the gmail account we provide the gmail account here which is contact us food corner 1234 at gmail.com so that's all for our presentation so this is our application hopefully you guys get a clear explanation from me and thanks to all